We're approaching the end of yet another very dire week in the gold market, with the metal last straddling $1,200 per ounce. It had been as low as $1,180 in earlier trading today, which was down 35% since the October highs. The latest round of selling was brought about by Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke, who indicated that the Fed may start to taper off its QE program. In fact, it may bring it to an end by the end of next year, he said, data allowing, of course. This has brought about a further spate of uh, selling in the ETF markets, with uh, exchange-traded gold seeing an outflow of more than 400 tons this quarter alone. This has completely overpowered the physical buying which was present in April, uh, but there are some pockets of, of buying returning. This can be seen in India, where premiums have risen to $8. In Shanghai, premiums are also at a healthy $20 to $30. Looking across the rest of the market, uh, in other gold market news, Barrick has said that um, it may start to, to lay off workers. Um, in particular, it may start to cut staff at its, its head office in Toronto and also in Australia. This, uh, there may also be strikes in South Africa, as um, the top union there has indicated that it will want uh, more than doubling in pay for its workers. However, this is very unlikely in current conditions. So we expect to see a bit of a tussle there. Looking ahead to next week, we are waiting for uh, employment numbers from the US again, with the non-farm payroll numbers the, the main focus next week. Last month this was 100, at 175,000, and any large deviation will be closely watched by the gold market, and indeed by other markets as well. This is Eddie Funnerbolt signing off from the floor of the LME.